Hi guys, and welcome to uh, Classic Rural Comedies Facts and Trivia. I'm getting closer to getting it better all the time. Uh, today's video is on Andy Griffith on Jim Neighbors Nightclub Act. Part of the charm of Mayberry is the natural chemistry among its residents. The old towns uh, seem to realistically lived in, and its characters seem like they've known each other for their entire lifetimes. Of course, this is all put on. There's no real Mayberry. And the town's inhabitants are all actors. Nonetheless, the show succeeds because we believe these are real people with real backstories who have known each other for a long time. On the Andy Griffith Show, Andy and Gomer are both pictures of their hometown. Andy's a sheriff and Gomer works at the filling station. You get the sense that they've known each other since before the first episode. Maybe they grew up together. Truth regarding the actors, though, is that they met in a nightclub. Working as a film cutter for NBC, Jim Neighbors also performed at nightclubs, most notably in Santa Monica's The Horn. A successful appearance led to Neighbors being booked on the Steve Allen show. Uh, the next stop for Neighbors was San Francisco's famous Purple Onion, a club notable for launching the careers of comics like Phyllis Diller and Morton Saul. Mort Saul. Uh, it was at the Purple Onion that Neighbors caught Andy Griffith's eye. I didn't know what he was doing, Griffith said a Neighbors routine, but he was doing it great. Neighbors' act wasn't as straightforward as others on the bill. While he was an incredibly gifted singer, Neighbors entertained the crowd by mixing up each performance with some comedy bits as well. That breadth of performance uh, let uh, Griffith know that, that Neighbors was someone to watch. When Andy asked Jim to uh, guest star in a few episodes of The Andy Griffith Show, it was clear that a new star was born. Neighbors even got his spinoff in a Gomer Powell USMC. Now, Neighbors probably would have found his way onto television regardless. It is interesting to think of a timeline where Andy Griffith just happened upon a purple onion on some other night. He might have seen Uber Pal USMC instead. I just think it's neat uh, how they find each other. And the, uh, even bigger story was when, uh, to me, is how Jack Dodson, who played Howard Sprague on the show, got his gig. And I'll do that too here before long. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. It's on uh, Leave it to Beaver. And classic rock, country music facts and trivia. It is on 10 rock guitar uh, heroes that passed away way too early. Um, that's all I got for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have not yet, please like this video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. God bless. And I'm praying for you.